Hey, it's Lynn. Tonight's discussion is going to be about something that all of us struggle with from time to time. In fact, I struggle with it quite a bit. Hearing God's voice. Now, there's times where I'll have a thought and I feel like it's from God. And I'm happy to do whatever is told to me. The only problem is, or I'm happy with whatever is being told to me, but the problem is, I have trouble differentiating between my own mind and God. Now, I don't have trouble differentiating between the enemy and God because I can compare it to God's word. So if it goes in accordance with God's word, then I know, of course, that it's not the enemy. Well, I once read in a book that we're supposed to listen for the still small voice, and that is the Holy Spirit, the one that's the loudest. Like, let's say you're trying to make a decision. Let's say you have this ever so slight passing thought. And it may have only passed for a split second and you put it out of your mind. Then you have this other thought that's just screaming in your mind. This is what you need to do. Do this. Oftentimes, that little slight voice was the Holy Spirit. Now, the reason I gather that is because every time just about that I made a mistake or made the wrong decision, I remember thinking to myself, Oh, I should have listened to that little thought I had, but it was such a small passing thought. Who would have known? Okay. Because the Holy Spirit is a gentleman. The Holy Spirit is not loud and obnoxious. Okay. So, um, yeah, a lot of mistakes I've made. I specifically remember that I had this ever so slight passing thought. And I remember regretting that I didn't do what I had thought when I had the small passing thought. So I'm going to read something on that from the same devotional book that we have been looking at. And I want you to really, um, as I read, to pay attention to this and think of yourself and your own struggles. So we're going to do that real quick. And you have to excuse me, this, this is my spot. <laughs> And I always sit there and read. That's where I sit to eat, read everything else. So I keep forgetting to bring my book over here with me. Okay. God is more likely to speak to you in a gentle whisper than in a loud voice. And that's what I just explained. It is easy to see and hear God in the big events of life, like the birth of a child, avoiding injury and an automobile accident, or deciding to change jobs. But monumental or cataclysmic events don't happen very often. If we expect to hear God only in the spectacular moments, we will miss most of what he is trying to say to us. And how true is that? And I just talked about that in a recent video about is God your steering wheel or your spare tire? How often do we wait till there's an emergency? Then all of a sudden we're on our knees, on our faces, trying to listen for the voice of God, and then we don't hear anything. And then we feel frustrated. And then we also end up having a little bit of lack of faith. Like, well, you know, if he didn't do anything for me this time. Why should I have faith? Okay. Most of the times our lives are filled with common circumstances. Because God wants to be in constant communication with us. He talks to us during those times as well. Listen for him as you drive to the next appointment. Walk to the mailbox and sit in your living room. So even during the times when nothing's really going on, there's no big decision. Listen for the voice of God. Now, I also talked about how when we pray, it's mostly to God bless our loved ones, take care of our families, and then it's um, me, me, me. So, yeah, it would make God feel really good if we paid attention to him when nothing was going on. If you listen for God only in the big events, you won't hear him very often. Try listening for him in the ordinary routine of your life as well. And you'll be surprised at how much he wants to tell you. Mark 4, 23 through 24. Anyone who is willing to hear should listen and understand! Exclamation point. Anyone who is willing to hear should listen and understand. And be sure to pay attention to what you hear. The more you do this, the more you will understand. 
and how true that is. I would say a good majority of us are probably not the best listeners in our lives. And that's why there are so many misunderstandings, miscommunications, or we forget something, or we got mixed up on an appointment because we weren't really listening. Well, I just talked about how when we pray, we talk to God. Prayer time is talk to God and say amen. But how often do you sit down and just talk with God? Some of you probably think that that's a little bit difficult. Well, how do I know if I hear God? Well, I just gave you the example about the still small voice. Now, there are times God has spoken to me and I know it's him because it's something that I never would have thought of. It's so perfect and so right. Okay, so there are times when I do know it's him. But then there's a lot of times I just don't. Here, I'll tell you something that's really funny, actually. This was several years ago. I was living in this house, and it wasn't even that cold. It was only in the 40s. For some reason, no matter what I did, the hot water in the tub would not start. This went on for three days, so I had to do my bathing at the sink. I didn't want to call the landlord. I had just kind of moved in there you know, not that long ago before this happened had happened. And, you know, I was just afraid to bother the landlord. So I went in there. I tried all day long. I kept trying to get that hot water to work. It wouldn't work. Finally, I had a thought to pray over it. Now, again, this is funny. So the Lord spoke to me in my mind, and he told me what to do. He said, I want you to turn the faucet on, the hot water faucet, three times all the way on and three times all the way off, slowly. I said, okay. So three times in a row, I turned it all the way on and all the way off. As I got to the third time, the Lord spoke to me and said, now I want you to turn it on all the way as hard and as fast as you can. I said, okay. So I did it suddenly. Boom, the water come on. It made this sound and then it shot out the hot water. So, um, you know, it was just strange how that happened. It was a funny incident. You know, who would have thought the Lord, um, the Lord would give me plumbing advice on how to fix something. So that worked. So thank God I listened. But we really need to obey God. And the hard thing is that those times when I don't know if it's me or if it's God's voice, it's like, well, I trust him. If I know it's him telling me, I trust him. But I just don't know if it's me or not. And what he speaks to me when I say this to him, when I'm like, well, I don't know, um, you know, if that's you or not, Lord. And he'll say, have I not made the ending before the beginning? Even if you don't know for sure if it's me or not, rest assured that you have considered me in this thing and I will have it all work out. So at least put your faith in me, even if you don't know. If you put your faith in me, I'm not going to let you make a mistake. Okay, so that's what he told me in regards to that situation. We're faced with decisions every day. We have little decisions. What store do I go to today? How many of these apples should I buy? Um, what should I do about this situation with my kid at school? Um, what do I say to my husband, my wife? You know, all these different decisions that we have to make. Which job should I take? Well, some of these decisions seem rather menial, but the Bible does say, consider God in all things. Notice it doesn't say some things. It says all things. So in everything that we do, we are supposed to consider God. In other words, take it to him, give it to him, and tell him you would like his direction in this. So you don't necessarily have to hear something. You just have to trust in God because you've given him this situation. So it's very important. So if you're having trouble hearing the voice of God, it may be that you're only going to him during those seemingly important events in your life. And then all the other times you're kind of like talking to him, but not with him. Or you're just plain ignoring him. Maybe you only pray 
when there's something that's uh, going on and then when nothing's going on, you put God, like I said in another recent video, back in the box. Okay, we can't do that. God wants a relationship with us, a real relationship. And that kind of behavior is not having a real relationship with somebody. If you were trying to have a relationship with someone in this world like that, it wouldn't last long or it would have a lot of problems. That's bad communication. People would feel ignored, not heard, and everything else. So we have to really, um, we, we work on relationships on this earth with people. We go to counseling and just all sorts of things. We buy self-help books, Google it. But how often do we really focus on working on our relationship with God? Well, communication is a two-way street, and it's very important. So this message isn't that long because there's really not a whole lot to say about it other than what I've said. And I've also brushed on bits and pieces of this same topic in other videos. But I just pray that you'll think about this. I have had a lot of people come to me over a period of time asking me, well, you said that God told you this. How was that for you? How do you hear God? So I thought maybe this would help address that um, question that a lot of people have. So thank you so much and God bless all of you. I hope you're doing great. I hope that you are having a great week. And just remember how much you love the Lord and even remember too how much he loves you. And it's a whole lot more than your brain can even begin to fathom. Thanks. And I'll talk to you later. I appreciate your time and listening.